stay with me. We're gonna learn about mulling, how to use it to eat the crap out of your lungs, okay? If you scroll about halfway down on my page, either of them, you'll see a video that's titled like, this is the most important thing that I can teach you, because it is, okay? And we're talking about constituents and knowing you need to know the constituent and what that constituent does and how best to extract it, right? Mullen is a great example of why, because you can use every part of mullen. You can use the stem, you can use the flowers, you can use the roots, and you can use the leaves. And they all do different things if they're extracted in different ways. Here's what I mean by that. So you've heard mullen all the rave about soothing a sore throat, getting the crap out of your lungs, right? But you have to extract the leaves of mullen in a certain way to get that effect. Now, I'm gonna read this because I was reading a study and I can't remember all this. Ethanolic activity of the stem extract, the stem, resulted in 85% inhibition of free radicals. Very high antioxidant properties from the stem, not, not the leaves, the stem, right? So different part of the plant extracted a different way. Uh, a water and ethanol extract of the whole plant, all of it, the roots, the flowers, the stem, the leaves, everything, had antioxidant activity inhibiting sebum oxidation. So you weren't stinky. So not only can it get all the crap out of your lungs, if you make it another way, you don't stink as bad. So that's wild. Um, the root can also help with like degenerative back diseases. Uh, the flowers extracted in an oil can help with ear aches and ear infections. So that's what I mean by it. Um, so let's talk about the two constituents in here that are responsible for the soothing and expelling mucus benefits. So you've got mucilage, which is polysaccharides. It's like chains of polysaccharides just that make a big glue, basically. Like a stick. Okay, actually, here's a good example. So, you chia seeds and flax seeds, when you soak them in water and you get that gelatinous mask, that's mucilage. That's what I'm talking about. So, that's in here. It's also marshmallow root, which is why it's really good for soothing a sore throat. The expectorant qualities of it are thought to be due to the saponins in it, okay? If I'm not saying something right, somebody commented on a video and said that I was pronouncing my big words wrong. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, so let's talk about why that's important. Why it's important to know that the saponins and the polysaccharides are responsible for getting <coughs> the crap up. So you have five different methods of extraction. You have water extractions, oil extractions, which is like a fat soluble, um, alcoholic extractions, really a more than five, but we're not going to go into like all the different methanol, ethanol, ether, all that. We're not doing that. So, alcoholic extractions. Um, you have acid extractions, which is like vinegar, and then you have glycerins. Glycerin extraction is a glycerite, and it is by far my least favorite because, like, you've got water that extracts, you know, this much, like a big amount of different vitamins and minerals, and or aromatic oils um and then you have alcohol that's really good about extracting like <coughs> sorry more of the tougher stuff to get out right but it's still a really broad amount of things that'll extract and then right here in the middle you have glycerin and it will only extract a small number of things but it extracts them well and that's why i don't like using glycerin because it really only works good for certain plants. And I think that people don't really understand the science behind that because I've used glycerites before that just don't work. And I didn't know why they work because I didn't know herbalism then. But then when I got researching it, it's because the effect you're trying to get out of that plant, the constituent that causes that effect, isn't extracted in glycerin. But the expectorant and the mucilage effect of mullein is extracted in glycerin. So glycerin extracts polysaccharides and saponins very, very well. Well, pretty well. So I'm gonna make a glycerin extract of mullein for cough. I'm not doing it in alcohol. You can do it in alcohol, like very, very low proof alcohol, like 20%, all that you need for preservation. And it's still not gonna extract the 
quad as well as glycerin. So we're doing glycerin. Anyways. And we're gonna grind, okay? We're gonna remember, increase your surface area. So the more, the tinier your plant piece is, the more surface area, which means that your solvent can extract the most from it. So you go sticking a whole leaf in there, you can only touch the outsides of that leaf, right? But if you break it into small pieces, you can touch the outside of all those small pieces. More mass, more surface area. That was gonna take forever. I remember I already had some broke up, so I grabbed it. Now this is just for me, so I'm just using this half pint jar. And here's what we're gonna do. Now, if you're using wet plant, fresh plant material, it already has water in it, right? So you don't have to add water. You can just do glycerin. But I'm using dry. I do have mullein outside that hasn't died in the frost yet. And it's frosted quite a few times, so that's impressive. Um, I am gonna have to add water because this is dry. Sorry, I'm rambling again. And I'm gonna put about a third of the jar. I'm gonna add a little bit more actually. Now, if I was doing this to sale, I would be weighing everything out and I would tell you those measurements. But we're doing at home herbalism, baby. So this is what we're gonna do. So, third of the jar. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, I did a third of the jar of my mullein. It looks like half, but it's puffy. Uh, pack down, it's a third. And then I'm gonna add water. When you're doing dry, remember distilled water. So when you're doing dry plant material, you're gonna do 25% water, 75% glycerin. If you were doing fresh plant material, you could do straight glycerin. But the purpose of this is to basically rehydrate plant material to get some water back in it. So we're about there. <coughs> this hair is getting in my throat. I'm just going to use this and push her in. Kind of get her wet. Rehydrate it. Alright. Oh. Okay, see how it's soaking it up now? So now it's like, if you look in there, there's not... You get what I'm saying. A little bit more water. So we're about here with water and I'm feeling her to the tippy top, okay? Some people do like here to the line, not me, to the top. I don't want any room for any kind of growth in there. That's gross. This is glycerin, okay? Be kind of careful whenever you're getting glycerin. Be mindful, I guess, because uh, glycerin is often extracted from palm oil uh, and so that's caused like deforestation of palm trees. So try to get a non palm oil based glycerin if you can. They're a little bit more pricey, but you're saving the forest. Anyway, 75%. So I'd already filled this jar up to about 75%. I might not use all that. I didn't weigh it. Anyway, add that in. Oh yeah. Perfecto. And I'm just going to let it drain. And then I'll treat this the same as a tincture. I'll cap it, sort in a dark place, four to six weeks, shake her every day, and then strain. And that's how you use it for cough and getting the crap out. You're welcome.